Hi, this is Joyce. Today's video, we are going to talk about the most efficient way of marketing your home care business. That's right. And there's so many tactics and strategies that you've probably heard of yeah. on how to market your agency. Mm -hmm. And the one common denominator mm -hmm. between the mm -hmm. methods that we've heard mm -hmm. from people that are in the business or that are looking to start, to start. is that these methods that they bring up, mm -hmm. they have no way of knowing mm -hmm. how much it costs yes. to acquire a client. That's right. They don't know that dollar amount. No. If you're an agency owner watching this, if I ask you, what is the cost of acquiring a client in your existing business? Nine times out of 10, you don't know that number, which is a huge problem, and it's something that you can easily resolve. Mm -hmm. We're not saying that all these methods that you're currently using or that you've heard, yep. we're not saying they don't work. That's not what we're saying. We're saying those methods do work, yes. but they're terribly inefficient. Right. They're terribly inefficient b because online marketing yes. is the absolute most efficient, efficient yeah, method, yeah, method to do marketing. Mm -hmm. We had a conversation with uh, a potential prospect, a yes. potential student of ours, mm -hmm. that said, hey, uh, Joyce Mofaro, yeah, I understand you want to recommend we do this Google Ads Google thing, Ads, yes. but what else? Mm -hmm. I said, well, there are all these other methods like passing out flyers, flyers printing yeah. out business, business cards, cards yes. going to networking events, that's part of networking, networking so yes. you build these relationships with mm -hmm. caseworkers. Case workers. We said, yeah, you can go and do those methods. Or even word of mouth, which is part of that. Word of it? mouth, yes. that's right. Mm -hmm. But we told this person, if you enroll in our program, yes. we're not going to teach you those things. No. If you want to go do those things, yes. go do them by yourself. That's right. Because we've already attempted those methods, yes. and they're terribly inefficient. Yes. But... When you look at Google advertising or mm -hmm. online marketing in general, mm -hmm. specifically Google advertising. <laughs> you will be able to know mm -hmm. down to the penny yeah. how much it's costing you yes. for wealthy individuals right. to see mm -hmm. your ad. ad. Secondly, you'll be able to see how much it costs down to the penny for that rich individual to click on and your ad. ad. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, you'll be able to see down to the penny yes. how much it's costing you for that rich person to schedule a time to talk to you. That's right. And lastly, you'll be able to measure down to the penny how much it costs you to close that wealthy individual and flip them into a paying customer. You can do that with So Google everything is very transparent, which is actually very good for your business because you know how much you're spending in order to get the client and the ads or the marketing and stuff like that. I won't even lie to you. Huh? Do you remember the last time that we printed out those flyers and business cards back yes. in New York? Yes. Oh. How much was that? How much did we spend? Do you remember? Honestly, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> you see, that's how... That's how long ago it was. Yeah, I don't remember, but honestly, I think it was a waste of time to me because just passing out even the business cards, you know what people do? Which I know I'm not lying. I'm not saying that I was there to see, but I know this is of happens because I've done the same thing. Too. When you go out there, you meet people, they give you their business cards. I meet uh, somebody who does plumbing and they give you their business cards and I... I know I don't need those services. So the next thing I know, when I get home or if I see a trash can anywhere, yeah. <laughs> That's rough. It's sad that it's it sad is that like true. that, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah. it's the same thing. Like, yeah, people, you're going to pass out your business cards. They're going to do the same thing too. They'll just trash it if they can. I was just checking out my barber yesterday. Well, it's, it's a new barber, right? Yes. Because I started going to a new barber. Right. And... 
He's like, oh, you know, it's the first time here? Okay, no problem. Here's my business card. Mm -hmm. Make sure you hit me up every time you need uh, an appointment, right, right to get mm -hmm. a haircut. Mm -hmm. I'm like, first of all, I, I don't know when I'm going to need my next haircut. So I don't want your business card because I'm going to lose it. Instead, do you have Instagram? Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, no, I don't have Instagram. I'm like, oh, wow. this dude here. Wow. You know? Wow. Like, you see, you need to make use up, of these social media keep platforms. Keep up with the times. Yeah. Because now, next time I go to the same place, yes. the barbershop, mm -hmm. I'm going to find somebody else if he's not there. He's going to lose my business. He's going to lose your business, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So keeping up with the times and keeping up with the most efficient mm -hmm. methods of marketing yourself yeah. is critical. And also another thing I wanted to add to what I was saying, when I was passing out those uh, business cards to people, I passed out so many business cards, I think about a hundred of them. I remember, 2014, right? Yeah, 2013? yeah, something like that. It was 2012. I don't even remember, it's been a while, but what I'm trying to say is that passing out all those business cards, I only got one call and I actually missed it. And I tried to call back, the person didn't want to pick up. I'm not saying it doesn't work. At least somebody called me. So let's say maybe at the time, mm -hmm. this is probably close to 10 years ago. Let's say it's, let's say eight mm. years ago, let's say, right? Yeah. At that time, mm -hmm. Vistaprint charged us, I think maybe $120, $150 bucks for the flyers. I'm telling you, I don't Something remember. Like yeah, it was so long ago. Let's say 150 bucks, mm -hmm. right, at the time. And out of those $150, you probably got barely one call, like one. Listen, now, I was so I was yeah. so discouraged. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I remember you coming home and just be like, yeah, "Okay, what is this?" Yeah, we're going into 2022 now, and imagine mm -hmm. people are still using the same method. It, like just going out and printing out more flyers, 300 bucks here, 300 bucks here. It adds up. That money adds up. Yes, it adds up. Mm -hmm. But if you take the same 300 dollars that you're giving to Vistaprint, mm -hmm. give it to Google. Yes. Watch the magic happen. That's right. Google will show you magic. Yeah. <laughs> That's a <our> quote. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they show you magic. Even yeah. sometimes, like, I am wowed at how well these ads perform, perform when we set it up for our students. Right. It's crazy because mm -hmm. uh, just yesterday mm -hmm. I was looking at uh, one of our students' ad account mm -hmm. and I noticed she had 14 clicks in a week. That's yeah. Impressive. That's it's significant. Good. Yeah. And we're targeting rich neighborhoods too. Mm -hmm. Only rich neighborhoods in a city. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I guess what I'm trying to say is this. Even with those flyers, mm -hmm. you're limited to where you can pass out those flyers. So it's not efficient. Now, the other thing that people rely on is what we call hope marketing. <laughs> hope marketing is you, you have to explain it to sure. the viewers, the subscribers, what hope marketing is because there are people who won't understand what that is. No problem. Mm -hmm. Hope marketing is basically where you go out to networking events, then you meet all these people that are mm -hmm. sweet talking to you, telling you all kinds of sweet things you want to hear. Oh, you're studying a home care business. Oh my God, girl, that's great. You know? And they pump you and be like, oh, by the way, I know so-and-so. You're looking for clients. I know so-and-so. I'll give you a call. I'll make sure they give you a call. Hmm. Right? You go to like three or four networking events for the appointee <laughs> that we know. <laughs> and you come home, you're elated, right? You're excited. You're like, oh, you got, you got this high. Yes. Right? <laughs> come home, then you just sit and wait. Take your phone and you just sit and wait like this. I hope the phone rings today. Oh my God, I hope the phone rings today. The next day, same thing. I hope the phone rings today. I hope the phone rings today. The following day, and so on and so on. And weeks pass by, you're still hoping. Weeks pass by, mm -hmm. somebody convinces you, oh, there's another networking event. Then rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. The next week, mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. For how long can you do this for it's not sustainable no it's not and it's not efficient there's a coach right she, who's really good at what she does yes who's also on youtube mm -hmm. shout out to her and she's based in the city in, mm -hmm. in atlanta mm -hmm. and 
if you really like a method and her networking events, what you might find is if you live in Kansas or you live in mm-hmm. Texas, yes, how are you gonna fly out here mm-hmm. to Atlanta and network with these people? Mm-hmm. It's gonna cost a lot of money. It's gonna cost a lot of money. That's true. I was just thinking about right? that. So it's mm-hmm. a challenge. It is. So in order for you to network with these people that are good, like this coach that's mm-hmm. on YouTube, again, shout out to her. You literally have to be here yes. in Atlanta makes to go sense. to her networking events. Makes sense if you live here. If you live here, it makes yeah. sense to go to those networking events. Yes, but if you're coming from, from another far. state, you know, the money that you have to spend, it doesn't make sense It at doesn't all. make sense. No economic sense at all. Economically, it doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. And you're not even guaranteed. Yes. After blowing, let's say, $1,500 on a weekend yeah. to come to these networking events. But if you live here, yeah. just going to her, one of her events does make sense. Makes a lot Maybe of pay, sense. like, I don't know, I don't know how much you charge. I don't know either. Maybe $100, mm-hmm. right? Mm. And then you go there and you get maybe like a client here, or yes. at least you get to network with other people that are in the same boat. Mm-hmm. Then, yes, that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. There's value in it. The most efficient mm-hmm. method to do marketing right now. Yes. In 2021, yeah. growing into 2022, mm-hmm. is Google advertising. That's right. We have created a course. Mm-hmm. Check out the link below. Check the link below. That will teach you how to start and grow a mm-hmm. non medical home care agency. Mm-hmm. Not only teach you how to start and grow an agency, but teach you the most efficient methods of doing your marketing, marketing. which is Google advertising. Yes. Not only do we teach you how to do it, but we also set up these ads for you. So that you just take over after you've learned, you've figured out how to do it. So be sure to check out the links below. And we want to talk to you if mm-hmm. you're serious. Mm-hmm. If you're not serious, if you're disorganized, if you've got a fixed mindset, if you're stuck in your ways, please do not schedule time. We only want to talk to people who are serious. Who are serious. Check out the links below and we'll look forward to talking to you. Mm-hmm. Take care. Take care.